as everybody kind of works their way through it. I'm going to sort of let yeah. you sort of uh, anchor this one because, I mean, this one's very puzzly, and I want to sort of hear your, uh -huh. uh, your thoughts <laughs> as we go through it here. You subjected like, yourself to this being the the co-host, so and I already know all yeah, the answers. I, <laughs> I volunteered. I volunteered. No, seriously, I'd be like, I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm so confused. But um, no, really, this is obviously I can't really comment right now on anything. Oh wait, no, never mind. They're starting. All right, here we go. So, what do you see? Well, for we some see. reason, <laughs> the free heart didn't count. Alexis just screaming through, and basing does it too, <laughs> into an instant oh, death. Man. And oh, it looks like wow. all of our racers are going to kill themselves. Oh, all of them <laughs> did. What a great way to start this. Oh, wow. Love it. Yeah, John, this is a uh, give you a reason to fear. Yep. So interestingly enough, there's no way to dig through. Um, uh oh, they're, yeah. they're get ready for some reasonable. weird mechanics. So, yeah, you can bomb away the walls. Huh? Yeah. And actually, so this guess... is something that I did that a Kane's doing as well is trying to blow up the stage to just look for something. But there is no. You're gonna have to blow up. You're gonna have to blow up the uh, the bounce traps, I believe. Is there isn't there a place to sidestep the the the, the crown of thorns? I believe. No. Huh. No. Interesting. It's definitely so, super duper in the way. So we're seeing them. Yeah. So are you noticing what happens when you step on those squares? That after you bomb them it, away. It exposes uh, the bomb goblins. So okay. And they so run then, away. Yeah. So I I guess if I were to oh wait, oh wait what. It looks like Angelica got through. Uh, I was looking. Uh, sorry, uh, I was. Uh, it looked like uh, she went to the stairs, and uh, it was my first impression. No, I think Angelica is still on level one there. Oh, never mind. No reset. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I, I, I thought. Um, uh, yeah, reset. It was just so a reset. my first thought is that you have to lure the bomb goblin somewhere, and I know there's the Necrodancer stage sitting there, and that's fully bombable. And I, I wonder if there's anything because. Oh. Angelica did get through to the second level. Oh, okay, okay. See, this thing, this thing stands out like a sore thumb, like the stage does. Okay, so I might be wrong on that. So, okay, you, you find the bomb goblins, you get them, you aggro them, and now they're gonna move in whatever direction diagonally, uh, you know, diagonal uh, at a time that you're um, that you're moving in. So then the question is, what do they trigger? What do they hit? What do they destroy when they blow up? Yeah, very interesting. Then, so yeah, you're so, seeing um, Angelica. So so have you established? So it's called password. So have you established yeah. where you get the clues for the password? Yeah. You, you, okay. Um, I guess you 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 you're peeking through these uh, little windows in a, in a sense. And um, oh man, see, I'm, I, 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 it'll be more obvious as I go through, but it looks very confusing. And um, obviously, the, the only way, I get, the only thing I say is that you're, you you get little sneak peeks uh, through the little uh, the little bit you could see through the wall once you peek through and you bomb through and you see the bomb goblins. But the only thing I can think of at this point, I, I'm surprised nobody has tried to bomb the stage because if you can if you could peek through that one little area and see through it, how much can you see if you uh, bomb the stage out? Oh, interesting. It looks like Angelica bombed a, a particular tile and sees a shop, or at least something with gold walls. Yep. And so, you, yeah, so Angelica did notice that you have to double bomb it, and Angelica did solve the yes. second puzzle. There we go. So, does GG. that mean Angelica's wow. the only one who's solved any of the puzzles, let alone. I think I really so. like what I'm seeing uh, Basing doing there, <laughs> trying to somehow bomb the. The way out. So Angelica is on to the third puzzle, and everyone else is still stuck on the first puzzle. Basically yeah, doing a little extra science here. Sci Sciencing the uh, with, with explosives. So it's clear now that the puzzle is you have you have to use the clues from the stage to figure out how you're supposed to bomb it. Ah, that makes it now. Now it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Now so I those get are the clues the to tell blocks. you how you do the order, and you're noticing yes, okay. that. You can double bomb, and that's what Angelica is doing. Angelica is way ahead of anybody else in this. Yeah, everybody I th I else think is stuck on that um, first level. I wonder, did Alexis sense. figure it out? I think Alexis might have figured it out. I think Alexis. Although might Alexis have. is yep. kind of just bumping against the wall, 
Alexis, uh, no, not, not Alexis, sorry. I was looking at Angelica. Um, I'm looking at Alexis, who's just kind of bumping against the wall, but you're good to go, Alexis. What are you doing? And Angelica Angelica's is on, on to the level. fourth level already. It's like Simon Says with explosives. It's nice. And and yeah, so now, because I did notice the uh, the order of which the things in the stage, I knew the stage was the key to it. Like, okay, the stage is there. It's a sore thumb. It's sticking out. And then I noticed the blocks in the middle. And I was trying to establish like a correlation between that. And yes, there is an order now. You bomb things in a certain order. Um, so yeah, now we have, it's like blue, blue, yellow, or, you know, the uh, level two uh, zone four shop wall, crack wall, and uh, level two dungeon or crypt wall. And right. that's like the first order. And then you, then there's a different order to the, the next group. And then you do another so group. So I'm pulling so. John in here just a heads up. Hey, John. Sure. Oh, there he is. Hey, John. <laughs> I'm actually pretty surprised that most people aren't getting the puzzle here. Well, yeah, yeah, me it, too. I mean, I, I feel like I sort of figured out what you had to do early. It was a matter of actually then figuring out the passwords. Um, but Angelica yeah. has been flying through it. But as far as I can tell, it looks like um, a cane did solve the first one. But I think I think Alexis and Basing are still on the very first puzzle. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they realize what yeah, what they're supposed to do. Yeah, it's, it's a little it's a bit very... opaque because you don't know what those goblin bombers are doing. Yeah, so you kind of just have to trust in the the order, right? That that it shows you. And I actually found the second puzzle to be one of the hardest of the puzzles. Yes, uh, second puzzle actually didn't even know, but I discovered when I was making the level that you can actually use boss walls as Dirt tiles, so you can actually explode it. That's right. Oh, yeah, really? so the, you just have... yeah, the indestructible walls are actually destructible in some cases. And you can ah. see it on your map, although I didn't notice that. Um, and was that, yeah, so that was, uh, was it a cane moving on to level three? A cane did figure out that you can double bomb the walls. Now, yeah, Angelica's trying yeah. to figure out what's going on here. Um, so, from what I saw, I was pretty, it was pretty obvious to me when I first saw what Angelica's looking at was that there's a pattern that you have to look for. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, yeah, when you when you enter, it's pretty, like, it's fairly obvious. There's a big green stage against a gray background, in a sense. You see all the gray indestructible walls, you see the stage. Now it's a combo. And uh, now, now to figure out, that, like, especially on Angelica's screen, the grouping, this is very interesting. Um, I take it then you bomb Wow, a cane has caught up to Angelica now. A cane managed oh, wow. to figure out that. I think the third puzzle is not so bad based on the second puzzle um, because it uses a similar mechanic. But now um, I really like, I, I'm surprised Basing is, is really struggling to figure out the order. I don't know if he's established that the first thing is the pattern that you have to, to figure out. Yeah, I don't remember either. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's interesting. Alexis, I think, has actually figured out the second puzzle. Um, basing still stuck on that first puzzle. That's got to be pretty frustrating. Oh, it yeah. looks like Angelica is yep. attempting Alexis order is now. on to the third puzzle now. GG. Third group. Uh, and we decided yep. because of... I didn't realize that they were doing them levels one at a time. When I did this and I timed it, I did it all as one go. So whenever I screwed up, I had to start oh. from the beginning again, which just took up a lot of time. This is definitely the way to do it, but... Based, the timing that I set up was based on redoing it, so we added the fifth puzzle in. We were going to not have it um, because I actually never solved it, so I don't know what the answer oh, is. Oh, okay. Well, um, but that, we'll see. then we can, both, we can both commentate and be confused. Yes, exactly. All right, so Alexis is on puzzle uh, three there, and it looks like Alexis has figured it out, so Alexis should be on puzzle four shortly. Have you figured out what the answer is yet, uh, Squega, to puzzle four? No, that it's... Uh, this one, it's a very interesting. I've, I've been watching Angelica like closely, kind of seeing, uh, you know, exactly what it could be. And um, oh, did Alexis start alone? No. Oh no, Alexis is Alexis ahead now, or did Alexis restart? I was no. I was Alexis watching. restarted. So Alexis was actually. Um, so the way that this the third level works, it looks like Alexis got it. Yep, Alexis did get it. The way the third level ah, works is it's, okay. it's you subtract. So you have to think about what zone the block is from. That's what I'm thinking. And then you have to subtract one level from it. So he was blowing up the fire trap or the firewall when he needed to blow up the fire version of the level one wall. And that's what he did there. And so now he's, uh, okay. he's moved on to the 
so everybody's on the fourth level right now. Um, now we do so still have 15 minutes left with this uh, this puzzle. So John, I do apologize if I um, if I gave too much time for this puzzle. We'll see. Um, obviously, the last two puzzles. I don't know. I assume from your perspective, John, last two puzzles are the hardest. Yes. Uh, the last puzzle is really hard. So I, yeah, last I, puzzle I did not get, and I spent a lot of time on it, and I just gave up. <laughs> and I didn't give yeah. up on much when I was testing these levels. So um, yeah, so I, we'll I noticed that when you bomb one of these sections, uh, like one of the walls, and you and you, uh, and you go into it, you see the kind of type of wall that's in that area. If that makes sense, you'll see the shop wall. You'll see um, other style wall. So I'm guessing. So there, there must be an order. It's a group of three, like at least on uh, uh, Alexis's side. Um, and I'm, I'm guessing it's not so much as order, but it's a uh, description. If that makes sense. So zone four, uh, level something, zone four. I see the thing is, then, then there's a shop wall, which I don't, that throws a- like, So what I saw, and, and this is uh, sort of what helped me, and this should probably help you as well, is that the wall has an X on it. So X sort of marks the spot, or you can think in algebra, solve for X. And that's kind of how I figured it out. Oh, so it's, um, I see. So it's, uh, the two walls are, it's like arithmetic in, in, in the, the left side. So you do, uh, see a level two wall and a level two wall, and then you see the X. Is that, would that be correct? So I was thinking it's like, do you do like, is there an actual math problem you're doing here? No, it's a pattern. It's a pattern based on X marking the spot. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I don't want to spoil it. But it's, this is a great puzzle. I was super impressed with it, John. I, I really like I like the choices you made for this. Um, so right now we've got three of our racers really struggling to figure out what the answer to this puzzle is. Yeah, with uh, this... basing um, still trying to get through. I think he's on level two still. Yeah, they, they, they're not even on the final level, the hardest one. So, I, okay, so I'm going to correlate this. So, um, is it? Okay, so I'm guessing the uh, X marks the spot. Then the the X is the position of where they need to bomb, or what their uh, what direction, what side they need, uh, the 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 spot they need to destroy is on. Does that make sense? So I'm not totally sure what you're saying. I'm also half reading chat because I feel like chat's getting close to the answer as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna review chat a little bit. Yeah, so I, I guess I guess what I was going for is that okay, so. The, the X that needs to blow up, like the, uh, the somebody mentioned this Gargoyle statue that blows up. And uh, to trigger it, uh, it's in the middle, like uh, on that first group. And then the next one is it, it's on the right. See, I, I can't see at the moment. Oh, yeah, it's, it, it's on the left. And then the next one's on the right. I, I guess something like that. Yeah, I definitely got a little bit tangled up with that idea of the placement of the shop wall. Mm -hmm. I'll just say that. <laughs> I did get stuck thinking that. All right, so yeah. I think basing is edging closer to figuring this one out here. I honestly think that basing is overthinking it. Knowing basing in his stream, he's a he's a very thoughtful guy, and he's probably overthinking it. And right now, he just needs very to figure sciencey. out that you can double bomb the the same level. He skipped, as you saw there. The pattern yeah. is ice, level one, level one, or uh, I guess zone one, zone one, and then fire. And where it's got the zone one, you have to just bomb it twice. You have to match it exactly, but you just bomb it twice. Once you figure that yeah. out, it's sort of like an insight problem. Once you sort of have that insight, then it's like, oh, obviously. But it's tricky yeah, because yeah. it's an indestructible wall that you actually have to bomb. Yeah, it's not it's not exactly obvious. So now the, the next thing is for the group, then following that same um, following that same logic here. So you have a zone four, level two wall. You have a, obviously the X. Um, I, am I am I overthinking on the levels here, like the gold uh, level? Because my in my mind, gold is like a level four wall. It's not really diggable, and and um, oh man, so so you uh, I'm trying I'm trying to figure this out. So maybe the does the X appear when it when you bomb it? I try not to look at chat too much so I don't spoil it. I uh, have been told by chat by Will. To cool it on the spoilerinos. So I will try to do that. Um, we'll just talk about what people seem to figure out. 
Um, okay. I assumed that people wouldn't be listening who are actually racing, but um, there's no way to really know. Yeah, this yeah. is a 25 minute uh, cap, and and certainly this fourth puzzle is uh, taking some serious time. So, quick, so to throw out red herrings. Uh, what you do is you throw a bomb while you're on yeah. the bounce track. Yeah, the problem and... is that they're all playing Bard. They need to be Eli. They need to be kicking bombs right now. Yeah, you see, inverts can get right behind that. Inverts are uh, kind of like our community champion for uh, Eli everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Eli forever. Eli for life. So, um, when you were coming up with these puzzles, John, were you, like, mapping these out on a piece of paper? Or did you just kind of, like... How did you sort of sort it out originally? Um, uh, it was pretty hard to do, actually. I had to go making a lot of changes, but essentially the thing here is that you need to be careful about how you position the Goblin Bomb. It's, it's, right. it's actually pretty simple. When you look at the level after you play it, you can see that basically whenever you press a block, a Goblin Bomber explodes, and that Goblin Bomber uh, allows another Goblin Bomber to get mm -hmm. through. So one thing depends on another. So we need to do everything harder. Anyway. So it's like a it's like a Rube Goldberg machine in the background. It's kind That's of cool. Correct. Yeah. Sets up chain reaction. That's really cool. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I took a look at this um, after I, I finished doing it. And yeah, it's quite the extensive sort of setup to, to make this work. But yeah, basically what he's designed, and I think this is evident now, so I'm not spoiling anything, is that of these eight blocks or ten, eight blocks, um, you have to bomb them in a particular order. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's that's a, uh, that's precisely what, I, what I'm getting the impression of is that, yeah, you have to um, set off the aggro of the uh, Goblin Bombers in a particular fashion, and uh, in this case, in order, so uh, so it sets off right. And yeah, the, everybody's stumped on, this is Puzzle 4, I, uh, I believe, right? Yeah, well, basing's still on Puzzle 2. <laughs> He's still waiting to figure out that double bomb thing, which I've said enough times that if he's listening, he would have done it already. Um, yeah, no, I think, and I, now it, we'll see I mean, what... Uh, there's one one issue that I forgot to mention, and I haven't been really paying attention. But um, I don't know if you knew this, John, but if you are too fast doing the right order on level four, uh, it, it doesn't work. I told the racers about it. What's that, sorry? You told I, the racers about told that? Okay, that's good because uh, uh, Angelica is actually. Because I thought maybe uh, somebody was doing the right order there, but not getting it. Uh, was that a cane doing it in the correct order? Sorry, I had to go through here. Check. That's okay. I'm just trying no to problem. keep track. I'm trying to remember what the actual order is. I think I remember it. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, they're they're it. talking about right now. They're talking about a uh, number of uh, permutations, um, number of different combos of uh, these passwords, and they're they're thinking of four thousand ninety six. Yeah, which is why I sort of gave up on doing the last level because I could not figure it out. Yeah, but will you guys know that John is a uh, like it, 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 he is a machine. You know, it, it, yeah, it, judging from all the bolt, bolts and coda and how good he, uh, he is at at both. Gotta be a machine. So, I mean, you guys had a calculator to make this level, and it's very well calculated. Really well calculated. But yeah, this, this is a very interesting level. It's, it's deviously simple. It's deviously simple. It's like, okay, there's this thing, there's a hint, and and it's a, yeah, just set the right, um, in a sense, gotta bomb the right order, and now you have to figure out uh, the right order in which to do things. And it looks like basing is trying to get the Yeah, order I think the thing that everyone can take a look at is if you bring my, if you make my stream nice and big and you look at basing's screen, when he bombs that, that rock wall, you can actually see that there's a lighter color to yep. the uh, square below where it is. And that's because it's actually destructible. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he can see it. Uh, and I, it I just think he just map? does not, he has not gotten that yet so hard yeah this is um <laughs> invert if, if you were participating you'd be you know what i'd be on level one going i don't know what's going on guys <laughs> <laughs> i i'm just i'm just here for refreshments uh, just but really yeah this is very fascinating and uh-oh we're throwing shade now i can't throw <laughs> shade 
Yeah. When, when, when people start throwing their dag oh not daggers, but when people start like intentionally murdering the bard, that's when you know, that's when you know people are just starting to get uh, a little, well, I wouldn't say fed up, but just like, I don't know what's going on, I'm killing him. Yeah, so I want to talk about the answer to this fourth puzzle, because it's pretty clever. And I honestly, I'm not trying to humble brag, but it didn't, like, I feel like I kind of figured it out quickly. The problem was when I did this, I did it too fast and it didn't actually blow up. You have to kind of waste a couple beats because the bombing of the oh. goblins all in the background takes a little while. Yeah. But I can certainly, I'm, I can tell that people are not doing it in the right order. So I think what's interesting, yeah, a lot of people are mentioning in chat now about um, the way the map uh, shows that 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 you know the tiles are destructible or those uh, those walls, even though they don't look that way. It takes advantage, in my opinion, it takes advantage of like the autopilot a lot of us uh, runners do uh, in the game, where we just there are certain things that we run on autopilot for. Just you know, we have muscle memory for, and we te telegraph our moves, and we see like one of these walls, we see an indestructible dungeon wall, and we think, oh, it's indestructible. Okay, I'm just gonna move on, and it's very easy. That if you're if you're in that mindset, it's 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 easy to not uh, to be stuck in it and not deviate from that. Like the other racers were uh, planning, you know, double bombing areas, and I'm sure some of them kind of knew. Like maybe one or two of these racers might have known that you could do that. Um, but if you don't know to check your map, yeah, uh, because you're assuming you're making that assumption. Oh, an indestructible dungeon wall. Yeah, because well, you never and see you those would... in the actual game. So, basically exactly. standing yeah. right next to it right now. Um, so there's been some, uh, so I guess what ended up happening was we were going to make the racers do level oh. five and then Angelica oh, had Angelica the version that was only four oh. and we were like, you know what? Let's just keep it this way. Again, this, okay. ra this tournament isn't necessarily for. Oh, dang. I really wanted to see, uh, I, I wanted to see Angelica's finish. I was looking at, I was, I was actually paying attention to the basing and, and trying to. Articulate what it was doing. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I think a lot of the racers are kind of uh... at this point slamming their faces against the wall. So it's just, oh man, it, it, it's a, it's not a, it's a good level. It's a good challenge. It's a good, it's a good problem puzzle to solve. So, I mean, GG on the tears there, John. Yeah, uh, he made the level trying to make so only one or two people are going to solve it. So. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a great way to do it because it, it, there's a great amount of satisfaction to have once you actually solve it. You think, oh, wow, I figured it out. I guess I can't explain the solution now. But yeah, yeah, it, that's true. Um, yeah, so basically, well, I don't know, because they might be listening still. Um, but basically, the idea is if you look at the um, patterns mm -hmm. that they create, there's three with an X on it. So you have to kind of look at the level of the wall and then or the zone of the wall i suppose and what's missing i guess that's the best i can say oh that's interesting yeah so we're not so, going to do level five just so everybody knows um because that might end up being our tiebreaker uh, we've decided yeah uh oh basing saying, don't, trying so hard don't. to get through there it's like dude just bomb it man well, our city's saying don't show level five yet. We may or may not have a surprise in store with it. Uh oh. Yeah. It's uh, I don't know whether to be excited or scared. Okay. That, that's awesome. Yeah. Arcane so Kane is close, but still not getting it. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. To, it's starting to now make more sense to me. I'm kind of like since I'm going in blind with these racers, I'm starting to see the picture. I'd be stuck like basing, I think, a little further behind if I hadn't figured it out. We are yeah, seeing like the... Alexis waste a lot of beats waiting for that thing to explode. It is not happening. <laughs> it doesn't take that many it, wasted beats. No, it's just Bart shaking with anger. Maybe just, that's what like, it is. Yeah, I just can't I figure this slamming out? his head against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I hate myself. Ur, ur, just... Stupid, but... stupid Bart. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, that's great. So, okay, yeah, so, so I, I wonder, does anyone in chat think they've got this solution? Because I don't think anyone saw Angelica do it. But if you take a look at, like... at Alexis's screen right now, uh, you basically see it go level 4, blank, level 2. Blank, level 3, blank, yeah. level 4. Level 1, level 2, blank. And level 2, level 3, blank. 
Okay, so the shot balls are don't actually count as anything. They're just actual X's. That makes a lot of sense. That's on a lot of sense. Yeah, so I mean that's it. That is, so it's fill in the blank. What exactly is it? And it's and if you pay attention to the other patterns, you can kind of see it. Yeah. Well, John, it looks like you are going to get maximum points here. The only oh, person wow. who completed it was Angelica. Because the time is about to run out. The time is out. So Aww. congratulations, John. You made the best difficulty level out of everybody so far. GG. Yeah, GG on that. You know, actually, um, uh, let's see, hold on. Uh, I try to think. I can actually pipe. I, you, you, have you ever watched the, uh, the uh, Price is Right? Of course. Okay. You know the uh, the losing horn? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, of course. Oh man, that'd be uh, funny to count. Kind of, I was just <laughs> saying, kind of funny to play that. But yeah, it's uh, it's very unfortunate, but a very tricky level. And I'm pretty sure this is one of those. If I if I was in the middle of this and I didn't find out what it was, I'd be awake at night thinking, what was it? I just can't figure it out. That's funny. Alexis actually um, said he got a pen and paper, but it didn't help. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, John, so I'm going to send you back. Uh, thanks for your level, but I'm going to send you back to uh, compete in the next one. This is Will Arsene's level. I'm sorry. So have fun. Good luck. Uh, yeah, I'm not so good at solving levels. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job making it. All right, I'm going to send you off. Good luck. All righty. So That's we are.